The Ukraine is seeking to sign an association agreement with the European Union, which would bring the country significant benefits. Former President Viktor Yushchenko has been in Brussels supporting Ukraine's campaign. Organized by the Yushchenko Institute and moderated by Bernard Kushner, the former foreign affairs minister of France, the conference took stock of Ukraine's progress on judicial reform, visa liberalization, protection of personal data, legislation prohibiting discrimination, and other reforms essential for the EU-Ukraine Association agreement to be progressed. After the conference, President Yushchenko gave an exclusive interview to JN1. President Yushchenko, how important is Europe to the Ukraine? A key issue for the European Union for the next five or maybe ten years is extending European values eastwards. The rise of the far right in Ukrainian politics, how serious is the issue of anti-Semitism in a modern Ukraine? Of course, cases of anti-Semitism may still occur at the lowest levels, but they're not a realistic threat. Conferences like that we're having today and discussion in the European context should remove this issue completely from the current political agenda in Ukraine. Will the involvement of the Svoboda party in the opposition uh, coalition prevent the US and the EU from supporting the opposition in the 2015 presidential elections? I think that every party has to be politically correct, has to be sensitive and also responsible in their views, in their dialogue with society, but it's about every party. The Orange Revolution was seen by many as a false dawn. So how can Ukrainian leaders persuade disillusioned European leaders to believe in a European Ukraine anymore? I think that's a wrong statement. If you take Ukrainian history, especially over the last 22 years, you will not find any other five years of such consistent national revival. Before the president left the European Parliament, he was presented to Dmitryo Sukovienko, a Ukrainian concert pianist and former student of the world-famous musician and Jewish philanthropist Yehudi Menuhin. One significant advantage to the Ukraine in signing an association agreement with the EU would be visa liberalization. And many Ukrainians hoping to live and work in the European Union are looking forward to President Yushchenko's efforts helping this campaign move forward. This is Colin Stevens for JN1 in Brussels.